and just holding this rib like so. Oh look, I got some nice clay schmutz in there. That's why I'm supposed to keep my tools clean. Better pick those out, because otherwise... Eh, I'm gonna have some issues. So I've got my, my rib, like so, firm grip perpendicular to the clay surface. I can rake, rake across and smooth this slab out. And I'm getting a lot of nice excess clay here. Just put that in my moist clay bag. Give it a quick spritz of water maybe. Kind of circular semicircular draws through the clay to get this to even out. And this is going to thin your slab as well, so keep that in mind. You want to err on the side of thickness, a little bit thicker if you're going to smooth your slab out. Keep this nice and taut. Got four four fingers on the outside, my thumb on the middle, middle on the inside, curved, straight up and down. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be close. If I don't have a rolling pin, it doesn't matter. If I've got a rolling pin that's made by an artisan that's tapered at the ends, that's not gonna help me roll a flat slab anyway, so. Better off just using as few tools as possible. That's my kind of motto. Make it work. I'm gonna want this clay slab to set up a little bit and the edges are gonna to wanna to curl up like any with any slab, so I have to keep an eye on that. You can always cut those curled edges off if I've got some excess slab to deal with. Air on the side of too much slab in all directions, thickness, width, length, height, girth because you can always trim trim it away to get it the way you want it and this can be just a fun exercise smoothing this clay you can really get into it I've seen people do this for days upon end and achieve nirvana on occasion So then if I really want this smooth, I can take like a, a red rib and holding it at, at this end rather than holding it like I was holding my, my metal rib. I'm gonna hold it at the end and kind of glide, just glide across. I'm not trying to take up so much clay this time. I'm trying to compress that clay back down into the slab. Now your metal rib will work fine as well, just not quite as refined a tool as this smooth red rib. Any rib you use, make sure to keep the flat side down. Take my finger and work out some of those little imperfections. I always want to come in at an angle like this, not like this, not gouging this way, unless I want to make a texture I can gouge like that. Nice and loose in my hand, but with, with with some downward pressure so it is bending. I want to start from the far side so I don't get those little indentations. Start at the outside edge and move across the entire slab. Now 
I can just lift gradually from the edges. And there's my nice slab. Slab roller couldn't have done it any better, I don't think. Now be careful with these. Clay has memory. This is kind of a funny thing. There's no brain in clay, but yet it has a memory somehow. So if I mess around with the slab too much, if I bend it this way and then flip it and bend it again a different way, it's not going to like that. Um, I won't. If I want to say make a a vessel, I only want to bend it in the direction that that vessel is going to go. Otherwise, clay is prone to warping during the firing and it might remember that I bent it away it didn't want to go previously and go out of its round or whatever shape I put it into.